Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that you can do in the multi-track view of Adobe Audition 3.0 using the volume and stereo pan. Now, in the first instance here, you'll notice on track one, I've got three different vocal cuts, all saying your station name here, just with slightly different inflections in each cut. On track two, a simple drum beat. Now, have a listen to this first bit here, the first vocal cut with the drum beat underneath it. Your station name here. You'll notice the drum beat is far too loud and it's quite hard to hear the voice. So I'm going to reduce the volume in the first instance, take the green line at the top of the drum beat there, draw a dot on, then draw another dot right next to it, drag that dot down. I'm going to take it to about minus six decibels, I think, and take that dot at the start, drag that down as well to around six decibels. You're reducing the start of the drum beat so that you can hear the vocal a lot more clearly. And then at the end, it's going to go right back up and you're going to hear the drum beat very loud. Have a listen to this now. Your station name here. Perfect. Excellent. Now, with the blue line, you can draw the stereo pan. So if I was to take this all the way down, that's going to pan across to the right. If I take this all the way up, that's panning to the left. So the vocal will start with a hard pan to the left and very quickly cross over to the right speaker. If you're listening in stereo, get a load of this. Your station name here. And you can notice how the blue line affects the stereo pan and the green line affects the volume. Finally, I'm going to take these two other cuts that I recorded earlier. Your station name here, just with slightly different inflections, and do a little clever vocal trick. Take the second cut, move it down to track two, line it up with the first cut. There we go, that's about perfect. Let's just check. I can just move that in a little bit there. And then I'm going to take the first cut, pan it hard to the left by moving my blue line to the top, and that second cut on track two, pan it hard to the right by moving the blue line all the way down and you've got yourself a lovely stereo effect. Your station name here. Just a few tips and tricks you can do in the multi-track view of Adobe Audition 3.0, drawing using the volume and the stereo pan. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com, and there'll be more tutorials online very soon.